All right, well, let's have a bit of a catch up. So as we're walking through the hangar, you can see we've still got some, some components on all of the racks here. We've still got some of the engine bits which have been, been painted. So that's nice to have all those together. Got a hydraulic accumulator on there, which looks like it's being prepped and some of the other hydraulic pipes and components and some stuff that's been removed from the cockpit when the guys have been stripping that recently. And some of the hydraulic piping on here, which looks like it's being prepped, ready to be connected back up, which is uh, nice to see stuff going back on. You can see some of the new um, lines and pipes and hoses are going on both the engines either side. So it's nice to see those coming together now that they're both on. They look, look really great. Uh, let's go and see. We're working on the uh, on the bit of the centre section over here as well. I don't know if you can see in here, but this is something we only started work on probably two or three weeks ago. It's just been sort of parked up in the corner of the hangar really. So we've stripped this off and cleaned it to see what structural work needed doing. Um, luckily it wasn't too bad actually, probably not as bad as we thought actually. So there's, a, there's an angle that needs replacing in here. There's uh, I think one stringer running all the way down which needs replacing. So the guys are cracking on with that. That's the idea probably to get this hung on the airplane within the next two, three, four weeks, something like that, I would think so. That'll be a nice big job to get that on. We've got some other bits and pieces down here. Uh, that's the center pedestal down there, which has come out of the cockpit when the guys have been stripping that. So yeah, plenty going on there. There's still plenty of things going through the paint shop. There's a bit of a mini production line there still. So oil tanks have come out of the paint shop. And there's still a few other components in there, which is which is good. Um, let's go around to the back and see see what's happening. So Neil and I have, um, have managed to acquire a few bits for the interior for, from another DAC, which is great. Some bulkheads and some of the radio racking and, and uh, navigators uh, components, which is great. That's really boosted, boosted the team. So we need to get that stripped and, and get that inside. So yeah, that's good. And then uh, some of the structural work's continuing. I don't know if we can nip inside. So yeah, if we have a wander through, there's still a few little structural um, bits to do they're still working on where what we think the camera was below repairing that sort of structure below and then just the main work really is happening in, in the cockpit if you wanted to come and have a look that's all been stripped out pretty much now so if you can see in there that's probably changed quite a bit since you were here last so that's almost completely stripped out now obviously the pedestals come out the rudder pedals have come out control columns are out there's no instrument panel in there now so that's a case of stripping that out cleaning it hoovering it and then we'll look to get some some green paint in there in preparation for putting uh, some bits in. The avionics are being made up separately. We've got all of the kit for the modern avionics now, so that, that's being prepared. So probably within the next sort of four weeks, I would have thought, you might see an instrument panel going back in there, which, um, which is pretty exciting. Um, yeah, there's still a lot to do in the, in the main sort of fuselage area here. So we've got an exciting trip coming up. We've actually purchased a, another C-47 in Canada, in Ontario, which um, which we're essentially using as a, a parts aircraft. So some of the really cool bits we've got from that aircraft is an original cargo floor to run, run the length of the airplane and some original paratroop benches to go down either side. So that's a, that's a pretty exciting trip. There's a team of four of us heading to uh, Ontario in Canada uh, in a couple of weeks time. So uh, watch this space on that one. We should have some pretty exciting footage as we go out there and, and grab all of the parts from that airplane and bring them back to Nightfrite.